Hey everyone, this is Dave coming at you with another fun tutorial and today we're going to talk about posing your sculpt. Yes, after you've sculpted something, usually you're in a T pose or an A pose or something like that and then you've got to, you know, give it some kind of interesting pose either for your render or for whatever else you're going to do uh, with your actual sculpt. Maybe you're going to, you know, put it in a particular pose and then update the anatomy to reflect that. So we're going to talk about how to do that and the fun part is that this will be relatively painless and automatic. I know if you're like me, when I first realized that, oh my god, I've got to actually like like rig this or something, I've got to go out and like buy Maya just to, you know, take a picture of my sculpt, it was a little bit disenchanting. So we're going to look at the more fun way here. So essentially I've got a sample file here, and this has all been merged into a single subtool as advertised. And what we're going to do is we're actually just going to export this as an OBJ, and we're going to save it out. And then we're going to flip over here to Mixamo's site just by dragging and dropping. Okay, so that took a moment, but here we are, I'm ready to go through the auto rigger. Your model may not be positioned perfectly. If so, feel free to rotate it so it looks like this. We're going to click on next. And then they ask you to go through and place these fun markers just to give their software a little bit of a leg up when it goes to do its, its auto rigging. So just take a moment and quickly place these guys. And they've got the symmetry mode, which makes it pretty fun and simple. And there's that cool little reference picture on the right. We'll go ahead and click on next. All right, so the auto rigger has completed. And I guess the more astute viewers out there um, probably notice that, you know, the last thing you'd ever want to do is sculpt, sculpt a figure in this pose that we had where the arms were down like that. I think this is actually like one of the earliest things ever done in ZBrush. This model is probably from like, I don't know, 95 or something like that. Back when, you know, sculpting for video games, like no one had even thought of that. So who knows if an A pose or a T pose was even a thing back then. So, but even despite that, Mixamo's auto rigger has done a fairly decent job. You're gonna see that, you know, there's gonna be some funkiness under under the arms. And this is something you'd you'd have to address if you were posing your sculpt and then you know, doing a bit of re-sculpting on it anyway in ZBrush. So we're not going to worry too much about that because, again, you're going to have to do some amount of re-sculpting. So things look like they survive pretty well. Let's go ahead and download this. We just want the TPO, so we're going to delete. We're going to delete this animation, and then we're just going to click on download. I'm just going to call this TPOs. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring this into Blender. So we effectively have our model, which had no armature in it. And let's see, where is this? This is now an FBX. Okay, so here we are in Blender 2.8. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into pose mode and we're going to turn on auto key. And what this will do is every time you move a joint or whatnot, it will actually record it to the key because Blender can be a little bit weird about just completely erasing your pose if you don't do this. So what are we gonna do here? So we're gonna turn on rotate. Uh, just for kicks, we will turn off the 3D cursor because it is a little bit annoying. Up here, change this from global to local. Bizarrely, when you switch to pose mode, it doesn't actually tweak that. Uh, and this, this rotation will just keep things in, in bone space, I guess you could call it. And pretty much again, at, I mean, at this point, you're, you're done, right? So we are we are literally up and posing our model. And then, you know, this is, you know, again, it was really easy, but this is this is the real deal. If we switch to, to wireframe, I mean, this is, you know, this is a pretty serious model. I mean, there's, <laughs> it's not like I'm cheating and I'm using some weird, you know, low poly thing. So Mixamo actually took what would be a fairly high res sculpt and put a really nice armature in it and then Blender is making fairly quick work of doing a pose. So let's say, you know, for whatever reason, we're like, yes, this is it. This is, this is our, our quick pose we want to we wanna go with. You can now uh, just go to File, Export, and we're going to kick out an OBJ. And then we will call it Fan Posed 1, Export OBJ back into back into ZBrush. So 
this is our original unposed model. We'll go ahead and click on import and we'll say models posed obj and all right so there you go so we are now back in zbrush and we have we have our model so it is chock full of polygons it has been posed all right so like i said so you can now use any of your zbrush tools and start cleaning up the anatomy for this particular this particular arrangement of limbs and and move on we have we have uh, we've done it as they say yeah so there you go okay anyway if you enjoyed this tutorial feel free to like and subscribe and i will catch you next time all right talk to you later